solenoid. It's in behind these covers. There's a front cover, and rear cover. The first thing you're gonna do is disconnect power. Um, I should take the plow off, but I don't feel like taking it off and hooking it back up just for this. Um, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. I got the cover off, just the rubber flap up here. It's pretty crazy, that's all it holds on. And that rubber band basically on the base for what's in here. You'd think it'd be more, but there's the solenoid right there. And it looks like it's both uh, positive wires on each side. And I've got some other wires on mine for an adapter for this truck. But anyways, these are some of your valves here. These look good in there. A little light fluid film on stuff so here's the hardware kit I'm gonna compare and just to make sure it's the same I'm gonna utilize the new lock washers and stuff is that you can easily strip those I mean and you can tell I've been in here before because I've got never sees on my fingers but that's two of those is all that holds that solenoid with those large wires on there so like I say my power is all disconnected so now I just gotta take these wires off take note of what's where and uh, compare the other one while we're at it Looks the same to me. So I got it back together and uh, let's try it out. Make sure it works. Make sure we didn't try to fix something that wasn't broken. The truck doesn't have to be running. The key has to be on. Do we have power? Power, it's a good sign. Let's see. Oh yeah. Appears to be good.